You know, we're bringing you all things St. Louis City SC this morning from watch parties to the home and away kits. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got it all. Kits, not uniforms. Kits. But we're also showing you the ins and the outs of the tech that is being used inside the stadium for your convenience and the increased safety around downtown. Mm -hmm. Mercedes McKay joins us from the pitch, a brand new athletic tavern, and Alex Bees is outside of City Park downtown. We'll jump in with our Mercedes McKay first. Good morning, Mercedes. How you doing? Good morning, Rennie and Sydney. Well, I'm pumped. Everyone's pumped this morning. It's going to be a big weekend and everything from hotels to restaurants to bars are going to experience that positive impact that having St. Louis City SC downtown will bring. Now, while we don't have an exact number of that economic impact just yet, people believe it will be millions of dollars. Brian Hall is the chief marketing officer for Explore St. Louis. He says even before the team plays their first game at City Park, they are already catalyzing tons of excitement and development in the area. Hall added even the location of City Park is helping the city because it's in a part of downtown that's been vacant for quite some time. Now a big worry for a lot of people right now is downtown safety. Hall says Explore St. Louis works with the St. Louis Police and the Downtown Community Improvement District to make sure people are safe and secure while they're downtown. This weekend the city is also hosting Arch Madness, a men's basketball tournament that will also bring tons of people right down here. St. Louis Police address the precautions cautions they will be taking. Feet on the street are a deterrent to criminal activity. When there are lots when there's lots of vibrancy in downtown St. Louis, there's lots of foot traffic, it just steps up the safety, the public safety, uh, both perceived and actual. Extra patrols will be in the area and both venues will be utilizing off duty personnel and working secondary security. Additionally, there will be a detail for the St. Louis City Soccer Club home opener. St. Louis police also reminded everyone to keep their firearms at home and please don't leave your firearms in your parked vehicle. And like you said, Sydney, I'm standing inside the pitch at Union Station right now. It's a super cool new athletic tavern and club and coming up in the next half hour, I'll break down everything this spot brings and I may even have a prop. So y'all better watch uh -oh. out. Make sure you tune in the next half hour. I know. Whoa. Coming with <laughs> this morning. Love that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mercedes.